Hey there, and welcome back to another Black Swamp Percussion Tambourine video. My name is John Parks from Florida State University, and today we're going to be looking at finger rolls. So, one of the first things we have to discuss, how to prepare the tambourine. You can use base rosin, you can use surfboard wax, I like beeswax. And what I do is I just go right here along the edge of the instrument, not pressing too hard, and then I come back and move in just a little bit, then I move in just a little bit more. So I guess it's about two inches from the edge, that's what I'm thinking about. And then up at the top, I put a little more, and down at the bottom a little more. That's kind of analogous to a string player, putting a little bit more rosin down at the frog and a little bit more at the tip, because that's typically where notes are gonna start. That's the same thing for us. So, after I've done that, I do something a little unconventional. I take my middle finger and my thumb behind it, just like I'm going to use for regular finger rolls, and I go across. What that does is it roughs up my path that I put on here, so it makes it really nice and easy for my finger to go right across, just like that. Now, I'm not pressing down hard. I'm not being too light either. It's just Goldilocks, just the right amount. And you'll find that yourself when you actually get the instrument and start trying to do it. If you find that your hands are kind of moving along like this, maybe you're pressing too hard. And if you're not getting anything at all off of it, maybe you're not pressing hard enough. So just get in there and put it right in the middle. Then we're ready to go. First up today, 4C Interludes by Benjamin Britten. One of the things that I'm going to do to make my tambourine roll a little bit softer is I'm going to use four fingers up against the bottom of the head. This dries it up a pretty good bit. Here's with nothing, and here's with that. Makes a pretty big difference, right? One of the things that you'll notice about Black Swamp instruments that's really cool is that they have these nail marks over the jingles, so you can use these as reference points. So, for example, in this one, I'm going to start my short rolls here and end them here. So I start right here at this one, and I end at this one. And for the long ones, I'm gonna go all the way from there to there. It's kinda cool because it helps you develop consistency. You're starting and stopping in the same places, and it's kinda nice to be able to have that reference. So that's what we're gonna do for 4C interludes. For Carmen, we're going to use a technique that I call the gut technique, aptly so, because of what it takes in order to do it. I'm going to take the instrument and put it right here underneath my stomach and my legs, still at a 45 degree angle, and I'm going to be able to play rolls with one hand and releases with the other. The other spot in Carmen that we're going to talk about is a little bit later in the Bohemian Dance, and that's where we have to play a roll and then we release it with our first finger by shooting it off the top of the middle finger. So the middle finger comes along, our first finger pops off, and then we nail the rest of it with the inside of our fist. And then finally, we've got Petrushka. And the way that we're going to work on that is taking our roll, and I'll do this sideways, taking our roll and releasing it by popping our wrist. See how that works? Okay, everybody, that's it for today. If you have any comments about this video or any ideas for future videos, you can leave those down in the comment section down here. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next Black Swamp Percussion video from Florida State. Thanks so much and see you next time.